If you find yourself strolling through Providence's historic Smith Hill, you will probably notice how diverse and how much culture you are surrounded by. Taking a closer look, you will discover many hidden gems and interesting destinations to explore. The area is filled with rich history and packed with an endless supply of learning facilities, shops, cultural centers, recreational parks, and much, much more. Another great thing about Smith Hill is its people. Besides being host to a large variety of assorted people, this particular neighborhood encompasses the meaning of community and the importance of togetherness. Walking down Eaton Street in the heart of Friartown and turning down Radcliffe Avenue, you will come across the Flip Frey Florist, a place that boasts all of what has just been said and more. It is a flower shop with an attached greenhouse and a community garden in the backyard with a group of great people who operated it who are very much into community organization and service. Frey Florist is a place where you can talk, listen, and learn about anything and everything, but in particular Smith Hill and its intriguing narration. Oh, and did I mention, you can purchase a gorgeous arrangement of flowers as well. The shop itself is a quaint wood building with an attached greenhouse that has thrived in this residential neighborhood since the early 1900s. It has always been active in the community, promoting progress and a sense of place for the extremely diverse population of the area. Frey Florist and Greenhouse is known for quality and value and delivers only the highest quality flowers in Providence, receiving daily shipments of the freshest locally grown and imported flowers. Professional, experienced floral designers create all of the arrangements. Local floral expert and community organizer Richard Espute owns and operates Frey presently with his extraordinary team, Sharon O'Leary, who is known as Richard's right hand, Sherry Gerstenblatt, the designer, and Audrey LaForge, customer service. They are each members of the Society of American Florists, SAF, and Teleflora, which provides them with a worldwide delivery network. Richard's friendliness is probably the first thing you'll notice the moment you start talking to him and his creativity shows through every arrangement he designs. His involvement in the community has made him a familiar face around Providence and he'd love to see yours in his shop. Sharon wears many hats. From being the office manager and bookkeeper to being the delivery expediter and wedding delivery and setup expert, she really does it all. Her calm demeanor keeps the shop flowing smoothly even during the busiest of times. Sherry is a planning and design genius. Her creativity and skillfulness in color coordination will leave your event beautifully designed and visually stunning. Audrey's skills lie behind the scenes making sure the record keeping is organized. Her expertise, along with Sharon's, helps keep the shop running smoothly. Together, his team of remarkable people adds to Smith Hill's diversity and beauty. The shop itself is an ecologically aware green florist, never treating its flowers with chemicals, but using things like compost, biodegradable wraps, reusable glass and ceramic containers instead. Frey Florist is a full-service, family-owned and operated flower shop that has been passed down through many generations. It all started out with Paul Frey Sr., the original owner of the florist and father of Richard's godfather. After he sadly passed away, Paul's son Ray stepped in to operate the florist. When he passed on, Richard was asked to take over. After attending college and earning a degree 
As well as serving honorably in the Navy for four years, Richard began running the florist in March of 1973 and is still doing so presently. The flower shop has always been active in the community, promoting progress and a sense of place for the extremely diverse population of the area. Paul Frey Sr. was even a gardener maintaining the grounds of the Elmhurst Academy, an old boarding school in the neighborhood. Richard has always been a huge advocate of progression within the community as well. Through his work and knowledge of agriculture, he is constantly doing various activities and programs in order to help create and maintain a great community while fostering a sense of togetherness. Not only was he on the board of the Capital City Community Center, a Rhode Island nonprofit social service agency helping people in need, providing them and their families with the tools they need to live independent, healthy, productive, and successful lives. He was a part of creating gardens in the back of Ruggles Street, cleaning it up, making compost piles and flower beds. Being involved with local public park and school renovations, such as Nathaniel Green and Davis Park outdoor makeovers, the Elmhurst Clean and Green program are just a few more of the many things Richard has been a part of. He views himself not so much as giving back to the community, but rather as simply doing his part for the place where he lives and fostering such progress. He even has sections in the back of his shop that people can use free of charge to garden where the neighborhood later coined it with the term community garden. I don't know if this is still true, but at one time in the 70s, Providence had one of the largest like per capita type of thing uh, populations of Southeast Asian people in the country settled in the Smith Hill area. And basic, and that's really one of the first people that I, I started, like with the, I mean, it wasn't called a community garden at that time. I mean, that's something that's relatively new right now. But uh, there was a place called Progress for Providence. And not long after I took this place over and I, I was, you know, running, doing a garden and stuff like that, and I, I contacted Progress for Providence and I asked them if they happened, would know of a family or a person, uh, Southeast Asian, that would want to garden. Because, you know, that's an agrarian culture, right? So they put me in touch with this family, put this family in touch with me. They came over and they, you know, introduced themselves somewhat. They didn't really speak a lot of English and stuff like that. Their children kind of didn't, didn't, did most of the thing. But I, I had that, that garden back against that wall back there. So I says, you know, that's... You wanted, you wanted, yeah, yeah, they, they, they were happy and thrilled to have that, you know? And uh, it was just great, you know what I mean? It was just great because it was so, um, I don't know, I didn't want anything. I, you know, I didn't ask for anything. I don't want anything for it. I never charged them to use the garden. It was just always great to see them back there. And again, like I say, seeing a piece of property that otherwise would just be overgrown with weeds and be you know, generally speaking, like a pain in the ass to go out and weed whack every two weeks, but being used, you know, and they would, when they were harvesting stuff, and they, they would, like, they would pick, um, like, squash. There was these squash that they grew, like a winter squash, like an acorn squash, that they would cut the top out of, pull the seeds out, and then bake a pudding in there, and they would bring me one of these, you know, they would bring me food and stuff like that. It was, it was you know, it was just great. It was just great. I, I just... Richard and Frey Florist are all about creating spaces where people can gather, live, and most importantly, thrive. So if you just so happen to be in the neighborhood, swing by the shop conveniently located at 50 Radcliffe Avenue to see some gorgeous flowers and talk with some great people. Have a good one.